Hi guys, this week I'm gonna be coming to you with a in-depth skincare routine. And the reason why I'm saying in-depth is because I did two weeks worth of research before filming this video. I looked into every single ingredient that these products have and determined if they were safe to use or not. And I actually ended up eliminating so many products from my skincare routine because of this research, but now I'm glad that all these products are safe to use. Before we get started, I do wanna mention that this video is sponsored by Foreo Sweden. However, I don't want that to throw you guys off because even if I wasn't sponsored by them, I would have included their products in this video because I genuinely use their cleansing brushes every single week. So let's get into it, mate. Get into it. The first step in my skincare routine is always to remove my makeup and just get rid of all the disgustingness on my face. So I have two products for that. The first one is the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. What I really like about this cleanser is that it doesn't rip your skin off its natural moisture and natural oils, which is, I think, the most important factor to consider when you're looking into buying a new cleanser. The second one is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. This is the makeup remover that I use on days that I'm wearing light makeup, or even if I'm not wearing any makeup, I'll use this. But if I am wearing mascara and like eye makeup and all the shabam, I will use this. And I have all of that shabam on, so we're gonna be using this one today. I used to be scared of using like butters and balms to remove my makeup because I already have oily skin. So I thought it would just add more oil to it. It doesn't do that. On days that I am wearing makeup, I will double cleanse. The first step is using these products. And then the second step would be to actually use a cleanser. The one I normally go for is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. This is my favorite fresh product of all time. I really like how it's gentle. Again, it doesn't strip your face off its natural moisture, which is so important because past cleansers I've used would literally leave my skin feeling so so tight and it would be so gross and I thought that that was a good thing it never is however sometimes I won't use this cleanser because some days I like a little bit more of a deep cleanse on the days that I look for a deeper cleanse that's when I will use my Foreo Sweden Luna Mini 3 before the Luna Mini 3 came out I was using the Luna Mini 2 and this is a upgraded version of it and it's actually really cool because you connect it to your phone and you can control it through your phone I have really sensitive and gentle skin Skin. So in the past when I would use other spinny brushes, my skin would actually break out and I thought it was doing a deep cleanse But it really was just irritating my skin This is really different because it's super gentle and instead of literally scrubbing everything off It's gently pulsating on your skin I think it's really important to do these deep cleanses every once in a while because the dirt on your skin can build up and just cause more breakouts Which is exactly what I want to avoid after using the Luna Mini 3 I can feel that my skin is a lot cleaner and it's actually a lot smoother than how it was before because I feel like when I use this product my skin just like gets a clean slate and it just feels very fresh with that being said I think it's time to use this baby I really like this because I can literally choose how intense I want it's a pulsate on my skin which I mean I don't really think your spinny brush was doing that I put the microfoam cleanser I press start and it's pulsated <laughs> clean it's free of makeup I feel very lightweight and it just it's an amazing feeling normally if I've already done a deep cleanse I wouldn't go on and cleanse my skin with an exfoliator I would use either a liquid exfoliator or I just wouldn't exfoliate that day but for the sake of this video I'm going to show you every single product that I might use throughout the week for exfoliation I have my two babies right here I quickly want to talk about AHAs and BHAs because both of these products have BHAs and this one has an AHA basically what their purpose is very simplified version of it is that they break down your skin like your dead skin and they reveal the fresher layer that's underneath all the dead skin even though it's an exfoliator it's very gentle and again it doesn't strip my face which is so lovely to hear i will use this on days that i'm looking to exfoliate my skin if my pores are building up and i can literally see that happening then this is what i would go for this is the best-selling paula's choice product this is the two percent bha liquid exfoliant i really like this because it does everything that an exfoliator does except i don't really have to go in and wash my face i can literally just put it on a cotton pad and i'm done so because i already did a deep cleanse i'm gonna go ahead and use this one next product is toners. I love toners. I've loved toners since day one. The one I've been using is the Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner. I recently discovered this brand, Good Molecules, and I've been thinking to myself, like, where the hell has it been my entire life? I did a background check on all their ingredients, and it is super safe to use. Same with the liquid exfoliant. Sometimes I just put it on my hands, which is what I'm going to do today. <music> I 
two serums that I generally use. This one I use during the morning and this one I can use during night or day, but I tend to use this during night. This is the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. The reason why I like to use this in the mornings is because it has vitamin C and vitamin C is a very good brightening tool, which I don't really need during the night. And it also has banana and bananas help color correct your skin. So if you have any imperfections or like textures or just colors that you don't really like and you want it to be even, this will help with that. I just really like how A, it smells awesome. It smells so, so good. It literally smells like summer. And when I put it on my skin, I can literally feel it glowing up, which is kind of weird, but it really does help with that. The second product is also from Good Molecules, and this is the Niacinamide Serum. This whole bottle, like this whole thing is $6. This is $6. This whole thing is $6. I love this product with my whole entire heart. It has helped my skin so much. And like I said, Niacinamide is a really good ingredient if you like brighter skin and an even skin tone. It's just, it's very good. Now we're moving on to moisturizers. I have two moisturizers that I use. This one I use during the day and this one I use during the night. First one is the Murad Oil and Pore Control Mattifier with SPF 45. First of all, I just wanna say that this is my holy grail. If you have oily skin, this is something that you need to invest in because this mattifies your face but it also does it in a way that doesn't make your skin feel very dull. I don't know how to describe it, but it literally leaves your skin feeling glowy, but not oily. This also has SPF, which is super, super important, especially if you're using it during the day. This is the product I use during the night. It's the Murad Nutrient Charged Water Gel. It's a gel moisturizer, and I've gone through literally three of these containers. This is my third one and I'm almost running out of it. So I need a restock. It's anti-acne, it's soothing, it's an antioxidant and has a lot of glycerin in it. Because it's still during the day, I'm gonna be using this one on my skin. And you guys can actually see how it leaves my skin feeling glowy, but not oily. Now we're gonna be talking about face mask. This is the Tata Harper clarifying mask. This has salicylic acid, which if you have acne, you already know what that ingredient does. It's perfect for fighting acne. It also has lactic acid, which is a form of AHA. So it's a chemical exfoliant at the same time. So not only does it clear your skin, but it also gets rid of all those dead skin cells on your face and leaves it with a nicer layer of smoother and softer skin. When I use this product, I can almost feel like the little exfoliating balls, beads, whatever you want to call it on my skin. And it feels nice, not gonna lie, but it can be a little harsh. This is, I think, a very strong product. So I would literally recommend using this like once a month. These two masks are a little bit different from the last one I talked about. This one is a really good hydrator and this one is very good. I want to say hydrator slash moisturizer. It kind of just restores your skin. This is the Dermalogica Multivitamin Power Recovery Mask. This is around $60. I will use this on days that I feel like my skin needs a little bit of a boost. I want it to be glowy. I want it to be smooth and soft. This is my go-to mask for that. The last mask I have is the Milk Makeup Cannabis Hydrating Face Mask. This has cannabis in it, which is proven to be beneficial for your skin. The two main ingredients in this are glycerin and aloe vera. Glycerin is an ingredient that is very good with moisturizing and hydrating. This product has a lot of that in it and the aloe vera helps soothe your skin and leaves it feeling calm. Other than the fact that it makes me look like Shrek and smells like Play-Doh, I like this product. It's a very fast mask on days where I don't really feel like doing a mask, but my skin is kind of seeking one and needs one. This is kind of what I will go for. It's a really good hydrator. It, I mean, they kind of all do the same thing, but you know, you will get bored of using the same mask every day, so I think this is how I actually even discovered this product. One of my favorite type of products in skincare are sleeping masks and nighttime products because they technically do the same thing as a mask would do, except you don't have to like wash it off. And I'm a lazy person, so I'm going to do everything in my power to avoid extra steps. The one sleeping mask that I really, really like and I use almost every single night is the Dermalogica Sound Sleep Cocoon Transformative Night Gel Cream. So basically what this does is what a normal mask would do, except it just does it at night. So when you wake up, your skin is like very hydrated, very bright and very glowy. And I can assure you because when I wake up in the morning, after I put this on, my skin is super bright, super glowy, and it's just very smooth, and it just looks very calm. It's just music to my ears. This next one, oh my god. Oh my god, 
Oh my god. If you are a teenager that gets pimples, period, you need this in your life. This is the Dermalogica Breakout Clearing Booster, and this is magic. This is magic. I don't know. This is magic. This isn't like other spot treatments. I think the life-changing aspect of this product is how fast it works. I mean, I guess it's called booster for a reason because it literally does it overnight. If I have a pimple or if I am getting a breakout, this will literally get rid of it within three days and it's, I don't know how, but it just does it. And lastly, the last step in my skincare routine would be lip balm. This is just regular lip balm that I found um, in my drawers. This is the fresh sugar peach hydrating lip balm. It's a really good lip balm, not gonna lie. I found a more effective way to put it on instead of using my fingers. All you do is just kiss it and it's already moisturized. I don't, I don't even need to do anything. That's how lazy I am. That is my skincare routine. Those are all the products that I use either daily, weekly, or monthly, but I really like how I can finally have a skincare routine that I know is gonna help my skin and that I know isn't gonna cause more harm on it. I will leave the link to all these products as well as Foreo Sweden's Luna Mini 3 link in my description if you wanna check any of them out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative and I hope if you will take anything from this video, it will be to research your products and to see if they actually are good for your skin because it's just so important. That's the one thing that you should take away from this. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you next week. Bye guys.